Hey, welcome back guys, it's Carty Fox, and today we're going to be building the NC and SDL, Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis 576. And this is a 484 Dixie Northern Type steam locomotive built by Alco of Schenectady, New York in 1942. And it was used for passenger as well as freight service. And right now it's currently being restored by the Nashville Steam Preservation Society in Tennessee and expected to be completed by 2024. By the way, my shaders make this light look yellow, but it's actually supposed to be a white glass paint. Sorry about that. So this locomotive features a yellow golden stripe that goes all the way across through its running boards all the way through the tender. Uh, I found that's iconic. Um, and they also have like this red chimney on top with smokestack. So uh, those are like the two characteristics I've really noticed. Uh, here's what the side looks like. And here's what the interior of the cab looks like. And on top of the cab, we have like three of these hatches that, you know, they slide over. Usually they see locomotives, they either have like one or two, but this one has three. So that's interesting. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna grab some materials, polished black stone, brick slab, stairs, wall, black glass pane, chain, black concrete, black wool, a yellow carpet, oak button. So first off, let's place the middle down. It's gonna be this polished blackstone uh, brick stairs with polished blackstone brick slab on top. Then behind, we'll make it three blocks wide like this. And then inside, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick stairs, two of them upside down. Get a corner of the outer one up. Then in the front, we'll add in this polished blackstone brick wall and two blocks wide of chain. And then we'll add in black concrete, make an L shape with black wool in the middle and a black glass pane inside of that. Another black glass pane to the side of this wall in the front. And then a yellow carpet on top of the black wool. All right, then we'll go behind. We'll add in a dark oak fence gate here. Another one right there. Open that up towards the back. Then we'll add in a black concrete side here. Skip two blocks, add another one. Then add in polished blackstone brick slabs on the inside, four blocks long. Then we'll add in, so it's uh, upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs, facing uh, away from each other. And in front of that, we'll add in two blocks wide, polished blackstone brick slabs. And then two blocks wide of stairs on top. Then another two stairs, but it's going to be cornered in the front like that. Then we'll go in the front, we'll add in an oak bun here. Wither skull and skull on top of this. And then a uh, black concrete on the inside of this, all the way across like that. Polished blackstone brick slab there. Polished blackstone brick wall there. And black concrete on the inside of that, like that. All right, then we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs here. And then two blocks long, nether brick fence. And then black concrete, three blocks long, side there. Then a polished black stone brick slab there. Stone buns to the sides of the wheels. And then an oak stairs facing the back like that. On top, a dark oak trap door. Behind that, a dark oak fence gate. Open that up towards the front. An oak stairs on top of that fence gate. And then we'll add in a black concrete. We're gonna make a three blocks tall there. Add one here sticking out on the side. And then upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs. Could be in the middle. Black carpet on top. Okay, I just figured out why this one looks yellow. It's apparently because I'm using a glow item frame. You know, regular Minecraft looks normal, but I guess for shader purposes, you know, using a regular item frame makes it look whiter for some reason. Anyways, next up, we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs in the corners like this. And then we'll add in a yellow glass pane. So this is gonna be two blocks tall here. Then I'm gonna go dangly up and add in another one like that. All right, so then we're gonna add in the wheels. So let's go here. Add a polished black stone brick stairs. Face the front with a gap of space here. And then we're gonna add an upside down polished diorite stairs on either side of it. And then the middle we'll add in polished black stone brick stairs like that. 
Yeah, that upside down stairs is going to be facing towards inside of this. And then polished diorite stairs in the corners. And then upside down polished black stone brick stairs facing the back like that. So this is going to be a wheel. And on the inside of this wheel, let's add in a black concrete, three blocks like that. And then a polished black stone brick slab in the middle on top and all the way across to the bottom. And then a dark oak trap door and open that up right behind these diorite stairs. So they look like this and we want to add in so that there's three more of these wheels. So that includes the wheel and the stuff behind it. All right, so once you added it, it should be looking like that. Then behind, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab at the top, and then two at the bottom, and then a dark oak uh, fence gate here, polished black stone brick slab, dark oak fence gate, polished black stone brick slab, dark oak fence gate, and then on top of that, uh, let's add in another polished black stone brick slab here, two blocks like that, and a polished black stone brick block there. Then we'll add in uh, black concrete right here, make it a 2x4, and add in another one up over here. Polished black stone brick slab there, a dark oak trap door like that. Then go back over here. Then we'll add in two polished black stone uh, brick walls like that, an upside down and a side stairs like that. And we're going to make it so it's two blocks wide and add another one facing the back like that. And then andesite uh, slabs. Let's add in three more, so one, two, three. Then we'll add in um, andesite block on top of this, and it's gonna be four blocks long, so one, two, three, four like that. Add upside down polished black stone brick stairs right there on the side, and then an andesite wall over here. Then the inside, we'll add in a black concrete right there and we're going to extend this so it goes all the way to the front just like that all right so back over here we'll add in black concrete three blocks long and then a polished black stone brick stairs here another one upside down top of that and then an oak slab here and then a polished black stone brick slab there and then a black concrete here Upside down, polished black stone brick stairs. Then on top, we'll add in four blocks long polished black stone brick slabs. And then a polished black stone brick slab. Goes slightly up like that. And then a dark oak trap door right there in the middle. Then we'll add in black concrete, so it's going to be two by three like that. And then we'll add in two blocks wide black carpet there. Then two black stone pressure plates here, two black stone buttons, two black concretes, two black stone brick walls. Now let's go underneath here, add in, um, then we'll go down here, add in black concrete inside, the stairs. And then on top, we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs like that. And then we'll add another black concrete inside there. And we're gonna extend the stairs and this black concrete until it reaches that stairs there. So let's do that. So it looks like this, and we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs underneath there. And then we can extend the rest of this boiler all the way across to the very front. So that it should be looking like that. Alright, then on top, uh, we'll add in a polished black stone slab there, polished black stone brick slab. A red terracotta, red carpet on top, polished black stone brick slab, and then a polished deep slate slab there. And then um and then in the front we'll add in a wither skeleton skull there. Behind it a dark oak uh, fence gate, open that up like that. And then we'll add in two polished black stone brick stairs facing the front, and then a black concrete right behind it like that and then another polished black stone brick stairs like so and then two uh, polished black stone brick slabs so one two then a black concrete like that and then a polished black stone brick slab then a polished black stone brick stairs 
and then we'll add in another stairs facing the back right in front of this dome area and then slabs for the rest then we'll add in a blackstone pressure plate on top of this and a polished blackstone brick wall to the side of that dome then we'll line up with this chimney area go down on the side we'll add in a oak bun like that skip a block and add in a wither i mean a blackstone button like that and then we can add in uh, end rod so just skip a block away from the cab add an end rod here and we're going to extend this it goes all the way across to the front just like that all right then we'll go down here and we're going to add in a birch fence gate there and rod on top here another end rod so it's upside down right there and then a uh, diorite wall like that upside down polished black i mean diorite stairs like that and then um polished blackstone brick slab here and then a polished blackstone brick stairs there and then a dark oak fence gate right behind this slab and open that up all right so next up let's go over here and add in a dark oak fence gate there open that up polished blackstone brick wall on top and then a slab on top of that then we'll go up over here right above the last of this back wheel and we'll add in a oak uh, trap door like this top of that we'll add in a blackstone bun and then we'll add another oak trap door there and and we want to extend this so it goes all the way up to the front just like that and then we're going to add in yellow carpets fill in the rest of this area on the top like that all right then we're going to go down here and we're going to add in this gray terracotta to the side of this um, dark oak fence gate as well as uh, this one here hoppers two sides of that and then polished blackstone brick slabs in the gap between like that and over here in the front as well as well as the back part and actually this part is going to be a polished diorite stairs upside down instead so we're going to make that wheel look a little bigger then we'll add in upside down polished blackstone brick stairs to the sides of this hopper and then upside down right there on top and then a polished blackstone brick slabs wrap it around the corner just like that and then the back will add in a dark oak fence gate now the two like that open the one up on the edge then we'll go inside we'll add in a polished diorite slab there then two dark oak fence gates and then above we'll add in three blocks wide of oak buttons uh, just like that then we'll add in this polished blackstone brick stairs upside down right next to the slab another one so it's going to be cornered uh, just like that all right then we'll go in the back of this and we'll add in black concrete so it's going to be six blocks long one two three four five six like that and then add in a polished blackstone brick wall there and then three polished blackstone brick slabs another wall here and this time we're going to add in seven black concrete so one two three four five six seven like that polished blackstone brick slab at the back a dark oak fence gate right down there then we'll go here add a black concrete oak slab on top black concrete behind it and on top and then a polished blackstone brick slab on top of that um, then we're going to add in uh, three blocks tall black concrete here and then a polished blackstone brick stairs here and then black concrete top two blocks like this and then we're going to add in another brick fence it's going to be two blocks like that and then three blocks tall dark oak fence gates open them all up and then a blackstone bun at the bottom a stone bun right at the top and then we'll go down here we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs two blocks upside down like that slab here at the corner dark oak fence gate right here to the side and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs, two blocks upside down like that. Then another polished blackstone brick slab underneath. And then a dark oak fence gate. Open that up like that. Black carpet on top of that. And let's go right on top. We'll add in polished blackstone brick slab there. And then we'll get added polished blackstone brick slab. Make it two by three. 
Then two uh, polished blackstone blocks. And then a three by three of polished blackstone brick slabs. And then two more polished blackstone blocks. Or poly yeah, that's what it is. Polished blackstone brick slabs. The gaps like that. And then three blocks wide like that. And then a black concrete here on the edge. And then polished blackstone brick stairs, two blocks wide there. And then two blocks wide, polished blackstone brick slabs on top. Then I'm going to make this black concrete seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add in a polished blackstone brick stairs right there. And then let's skip a block, add in a polished blackstone brick slab there. Then we'll go directly inside, add in two blocks wide like that. And then um, we'll fill in the rest of this with coal. So a block of coal all the way across the inside, all the way up until we have that uh, slab there. Then right here inside, we can add in um, oak buttons. So it's going to be five blocks wide. Like that, And then we want an oak slab that's going to be underneath the second button right there. Then we'll add in a black concrete, a row across, and including behind that oak slab all the way to the back. And then next up, let's go over here on the inside and skip block here, add black concrete all the way up to the top. Then add in upside down polished blackstone brick uh, stairs like that. And then polished blackstone brick slabs so that there's three of them all spaced apart, just like that. And added black concrete inside there, another one to the side, and added a uh, two by two right there. Then we're gonna punch in a hole here, add in an oak trap door there, and we're gonna extend this uh, black concrete and oak trap door uh, to the back. So let's do that. So one block away from the edge, like that. Then we'll go back over here, make this uh, three blocks long of black concrete, and the rest is going to be upside down. Polished black stone brick stairs all the way across to the back, like that. Then let's go down here. Um, in the middle of this segment, add in two blocks long, polished black stone brick walls, and then polished black stone brick slabs on either side of that, like so. Then we can add in a black concrete of for the floor of this uh, tender, I guess, so all the way across like that. And right above these walls as well. That looks like that. Then we're gonna add in blackstone buttons. So there's gonna be a column here, and then a column over here, a column here, and just pretty much every other block. So we reach the back like that. Now let's go down here. And we're going to add in another brick fence. Like that. And then a dark oak fence gate. Open that up towards the back. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side right here. Open that up towards the back. I mean towards the front this time. Um, and then I'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab. The front of that fence. And that is going to be the starting point of each of these bogies. The bogey design for the tender, they're both the same. So I just built one and you'll build the other one facing the other way. So let's make the wheels. That's going to be our gray terracotta. And just add three of them spaced apart and then upside down. Polish diorite stairs on back of that. And then hoppers to sides of the wheels. And then a polished blackstone brick slab in between and then after on the side. Then we'll add in two polished black stone brick slabs on each end of it. And then a right side up facing the back. Polished black stone brick stairs there. Then facing outwards just like that. And the inside we'll add in polished black stone brick walls. Fill that in. And actually the middle of this part to get be black concrete just two blocks wide um, like that and this edge here we'll add in um, two dark oak fence gates and open the one on the outer edge up like that and the inside we'll add in a dark oak uh, fence gates two sides the wheels for the axles and then another dark oak fence gate here in the front 
and polished blackstone brick slabs in the gaps between like that. All right, so after we do that, we're going to build the same bogey design, just flip the other direction symmetrically from the other side right over here. All right, so once you're done, it should be looking like this. Then let's go on the inside of the cab here. And we're going to add in a polished blackstone brick wall here. And then this deep slate brick stairs. Um, it's going to be one there, and then a slab in the front of that, black concrete. Fill in this wall here, and then add in two diagonal acacia buttons, and then two diagonal blackstone buttons. And we'll also add in a dark oak um, trap door here. And then a polished blackstone brick slab there. And then on top we'll add in black carpet. Fill this L shape in. And then we'll add in um, down here. We're going to add in a polished blackstone brick slab here. Polished blackstone brick stairs upside down facing the front. And then a slab underneath there. Inside we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here. Another dark oak fence gate so it's opened up facing towards the back like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gates. So there's going to be four of them here. Up all the way there. Open all these fence gates up. And now I'm going to make these banners. So let's first make this cab window banner. So it's going to be a black, uh, actually going to be a gray banner with black dye border around it. Put it back inside. And then black dye across the bottom third of it. And then for the other banner, that's just going to be black banner with red dye on the upper third of it. So yeah, we just place the window banner in front of the cab like that. And the red banner on the side of this chimney like so. Alright, then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate down underneath here. And then a polished black stone brick wall inside this little gap area. All right, so um, yeah, that's all we're going to do right now for um, this side. So copy everything that we did over here and build the other half. All right, so once we have the other half, it should be looking like this. So let's go in the front here, add in a blackstone button on the left. Dark oak fence gate on the right, open that up. And to place that bell there, uh, we actually need to put a barrier block instead. And put a bell on top like that. Uh, that's just the design. And then on the side of this, uh, we can add in a chain right over here. The other side's going to be an oak fence gate right there like that. All right, then we'll go over here and we'll add in two blocks wide. Uh, birch fence gates, open them up. An oak um, trap door here. And then um, nether brick fence over here. Then a chain going horizontally there, uh, yellow carpets on top, a dark oak fence gate over here, and then dark oak trap doors, three blocks long right there, another brick fence down there, and then, uh, then inside here a dark oak fence gate, another brick fence the side of it in the front, another nether brick, I mean dark oak fence gate here on the edge, open that up. And then a dark oak trap door right on top like that. I'm going to add in a polished black stone brick slab inside there. And go on the other side, do the same thing, just add in that slab inside there. And then a polished black stone uh, brick wall there. And then a wither skeleton skull sticking out like that. Another brick fence on top of it. And another one right here. Side. And then let's add in dark oak fence gates, two blocks long here. Another brick fence up over here, two blocks wide. Birch fence gates, open them both up. And then an oak trap door there, and then yellow carpets going all the way across like that. And then we'll go to this edge here, add in a dark oak trap door there. And we're actually going to move this nether brick fence, it's going to be one block out here. Inside is going to be a dark oak fence gate like that. And then we'll go over here and actually this segment should be one block back like this dark oak fence gate all the way to this end rod. 
Just shift that one block back. Instead, so there's going to be this upside down uh, polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front like that. And the other side, do the same thing. Just uh, move this whole thing over. Sorry about that. Little oversight that I had. And upside down. Wash block stone brick. There's like that. All right, so back over here, we'll add in smooth stone slabs. So it's going to be three blocks here. A birch fence gate there. An iron trap door on top. Extend it out so it goes to the middle of the last wheel. And add in iron trap doors underneath that, like so. Another iron trap door underneath that wall. Then we're going to go onto the other side. And we're going to add in um, birch fence gates, two blocks long here. And then a smooth uh, stone slab there. And then iron trap doors. I don't think I need my night vision anymore. <laughs> underneath, like that and goes all the way to the stairs and then all the way to the middle of the last wheel and then we need a skeleton skull so it kind of connects that fence gate and then iron trap doors all the way across or the rest like that so next we're going to make it this banner so that's simply a gray banner with black dye border around it put it back inside and then we're going to have it going um Across the bottom half of it like this and then you want to make two copies of this so let's uh, make a copy and then we'll go back to the loom add in our black dye with that banner and then we want it on uh, one side of it so one half of it or uh, both of them to be different halves per side and then we'll just place them in the back of the cab so the window is just on the outer edge, just right over there. Other the side, we'll do the same thing. That. Alright, so yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build in Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis 576 in Minecraft. Thanks a lot to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If guys are interested in commissioning for yourself, check out the link in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.